My suspicion is that they're actually catching it, but they're dealing with it so well, they're having such a mild reaction that it looks as though they've got only a mild cold or no symptoms at all. Children's immune systems are quite different. We've been taught through many other pandemics and many other viral infections that when children get a viral infection for the first time, they really can get it quite mildly. The same virus that's very mild in a child really can be quite severe in an adult and our immune systems change as we mature. Children can catch the infection and they can be a host. It's people who cough and splutter and sneeze, especially young children who have poor personal hygiene, respiratory hygiene, they can transmit infection. But milder cases in older children who can wash their hands are unlikely to be major sources of transmission. Certainly they could pass it to someone in their family, but I don't see them as super transmitters. Babies can and they have been infected with COVID-19. The few reports we have so far suggest that they get a mild infection. New mums should just do all the sensible things. They don't need to make any particular precautions because if you're hand washing regularly, if you're paying attention to not exposing your baby to other people and keeping them at home for the first few weeks and months, just do the normal thing. People who are put into self-quarantine at home, they only have to stay there for 14 days while we're checking whether they're about to develop COVID-19. Within 14 days, we know if you haven't got symptoms, you haven't caught the virus. For dogs and cats and other domestic animals, there's really no evidence at all to suggest the coronavirus that we get will transmit to them or it will transmit from them to us. Neither. The Australian Academy of Science because questions need answers.